God bless you, everybody, especially re-viewers or replay viewers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have about four minutes, so you'll get to see what I'm doing first. <laughs> I pray that you all are having a beautiful day. I am. I'm so excited about this new journey that we're going on. It's the Rapture Drill Preparation Training. They're basically all separate words, but they're running together. Because <laughs> even if you said Raptor Preparation Drill and Training or Raptor tra Rapture Training Drill Preparation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to race this board. And I'm going to try my best to do what my pastor used to do. She used to preach two, three services. And at the beginning, she would teach the same thing each time. Not the same as that words, because the Holy Ghost is, is awesome. And you would do your best to try to get to every service. I know I did. <laughs> I mean, I would suck up when she was talking. I, literally. <laughs> I still do that to this day. I'm mean, like, I'm going to get all of this in me. I don't know if it works like this, but this is what I'm going to do. And I'll be sucking in. Anyway, we have equipment. And so, just in case you don't have a board, I decided to do this session at the table. Now... See, I'll put this over here. I'm making sure I still have my couple of minutes. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock on the dot, and I am ready to begin. Thank you so much for coming to join me today. I appreciate it. God appreciates it. And I'm thankful because if you're finding me, I know that you're supposed to be here. Okay, so if you want to start learning, the best way to learn is to get a book or a, at least for the first time you want a piece of paper. You definitely want your Bible and you want to have it open. And today... We're going to be talking from Daniel, just so far, Daniel first and second chapters. And what I'm doing is showing you how I am preparing, or Father is teaching me how to prepare for his soon coming, his return. And the, the scripture so far that I got is the one about the five foolish and the five wise virgins and the mo virgins and I'm most sure that he placed that one in, um before me because he just really wants us to follow through not to give up not to turn around not to go back you know backwards and just be consistent in going forward in him even at our standstill times we can ask him what can I do or what can I not do or what can I say, Father, in order to get closer to you? Or what can I not say? Or you can, some of us don't even want to turn around, but we still get stuck. So um, this is an unstuck, <laughs> how to get unstuck lesson. So one of the first things you want to do or grab a hold of is just a regular piece of paper. So that you can figure out how to categorize, categorize it in your book. Now, my pastor teaches us that she journals. She doesn't tell us to journal. She teaches us that she journals. And so what I do is like we'll have a lesson. And basically all of our lessons look like this. And then this. And I'm going to run upstairs with this periscope. And get our latest lesson. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I thought I turned the slide on. 
There you go. Okay. Hallelujah. And a lot of our lessons, this is our latest one. But I'm going to go get or show you some of the ones before. A lot of our lessons are written and they have themes. Like this one was combating climate change. Another one is combating. Oh, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. It's combat. The, the theme was combating climate change. But it says, through obedience. So we're trying to go through, and we're trying to depict um, the, the thing. Anyway, it's a lot of them. This one was, the value of his word. And then we'll get scriptures. Let me see what the blue one said. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll get scriptures and our, I call her my spiritual mother. I call her our pastor, like that. So what she does is she studies. She she has the opportunity to stay before the Lord. And she has been training us about prayer. I mean, forever. <laughs> I mean, she she turns it around. She flips it. But... I've known her since I was 21, and I'm 57 now, so I've known her that long. And her undertone or her subject or her life subject is about prayer and talking to Father. And so recently, no matter what, it's like God's gift to his children. And then she'll, she'll be talking And sometimes she'll say, you know, I didn't get a chance to get this scripture in, so write this scripture down. And then I'll, like, put it, hey, it must be taped. Look, that's pretty good. (laughs) And then I'll say, um, and then she'll say, the song of joy in Zephaniah taking away my judgment. You see evil has more, he will say. And to me, what I usually do is as I'm taking notes, I will go back and I will, what did that mean? And then he'll renew, Father renews our mind and shows us what he was meaning when he allowed our leader to give us scripture, to give us context, to give us information, to give us whatever. And so now, of late, he's been talking to me about following through, going forward, don't stop. And so one day I'm praying and I'm talking to Father, and he loves it. He loves it when we speak to him in our heavenly language. He really appreciates that because it frees our mind to see visions. It frees our mind to receive intricate um, information from him. And so I'm I'm just I'm just a praying. I'm like Ketuskelivarando, Baroshka, Rekaskelimosh, Kedivarian, and it's like. And this little teeny, teeny wording, like coming from behind, it was 6 a.m. prayer. And that's a, that was the first um, impression that I got. And I was like, this is cool. So that night, as we were having Bible study, we were learning this one. Oops. No, nope. we were learning this one. And... um. And the and it was delivery comes through labor, and so. But as I was typing these up for the class, I get to see the words first. So the scripture right here says, "And I also say to you that you are Peter." And I said, "Okay, he's telling me who I am. I am Miss Janice." Uh, well, Father calls me little one, which means one of the watch for eye of God, but. I said, but I put my name there because I teach any time a name is put in the scripture, you put your name there. And when I first started teaching this, Father has said how we have the positive for every negative that's written in the Bible. And I was like, 
let me see. And then using that same rule, it says, and Judas hung himself. And I was like, now how can I put a positive spin on that? I mean, that's like, and, and Father immediately tells you that he will never send anything negative to you. So if you already know that he will never send anything negative to you, that means that you can do it. He already told you that you can, but it's like, how can you put a, a positive spin on that? And he says that you personally begin to do things to kill your flesh. You can personally fast. You can personally read the Bible. Because, <laughs> see, he hung himself. He did something on purpose to kill his flesh. But your spirit lives on either in glory or in damnation. And that's biblical too. But when I receive the revelation that I can personally do things that prepare me for the rapture, then those things kill the flesh so that the spirit man that's on the inside of me, which is Jesus Christ, can live above and beyond. Whatever we think, ask, or do, I'm like, come on now. I'm like, wow. So once I learned that, I just started telling everybody, what I just told you. So you're, you're, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> so anyway, it says, um, okay, so I put my name there and it says, and on this rock, on the things that father teaches us, he says, I will build my church. Hallelujah. So the lessons that are coming, thank you for taking pictures. Hold on. The lessons that are coming are positive lessons as long as we follow through. That's really what he wants to teach us. So on this board right here, I'm going to put the word follow through. And I'm not going to acronym it today. I'm just going to literally write the word follow and then through. Whoops. Because, see, when we follow through, we are doing exactly what your rapture's geared towards. That's supposed to be a G, sorry. Hold on. And then an H. And I'm showing you each letter separately, even though. Follow through. I'm going to flip this, see if I can see the whole thing. And I can follow through. <laughs> Thank you for the pictures. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I do want you to know that if real people decide to come to the Rapture Drill training, it'll take a whole different um, turn. Because, see, over here... I have books. Those are Bibles. I have um, a pot because Father's always cooking up stuff. And then if someone else was holding this, you would actually get to see me. I have on an apron. <laughs> and there are some words. Whoops. Because we, we do spiritual exercises. And paper, just in case. Oh, and also the utensil to use. And that's what he does. He uses our, us as vessels. So, oh, let me put this. Hallelujah. And you take your time. What you do is you find a special place where you can be with Father. And it doesn't have to start off as an hour it doesn't have to start off as two hours. It does, because he says in Daniel that, and that's why I have the book of, of Daniel open because I want to relate the story. So in the book of Daniel, it says that Daniel prayed three times a day. It didn't say he prayed three hours a day or three times a day for an hour, or, but there are scriptures that ask us to pray a certain amount of time. The hour of prayer, that means an hour, you know, <laughs> or it could mean an hour or be, it could mean 
like it says the third hour of the day. So you have to know when the third hour of the day is. That's the time. And then it, there's a place to pray. They they went daily to the temple. So it, that's why I'm doing it at the church. And, and we're in the fellowship hall because these are lessons to be taught and to go over. And I always say that the, the reason that you have the opportunity to learn a certain technique of a person who prays is because you you can do it. It's not only for that person. Like, for example, if you want to see visions, then you have to be someone's son and daughter from the understanding of the word. It says your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and see vision. I really want to thank you for taking pictures, whoever that is. Thank you. Because <laughs> it's, it's like... You have a portable or on-the-go area to praise and magnify God in. Mine just so happened to be at the edge of the table. <laughs> okay, so I, 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 I want you to know that we're going to hide this page right here. That how we started on not just necessarily teaching this, but we started teaching it a, a, a few weeks ago about rapture drills, rapture training, and rapture preparation, which basically mean the same thing, just continually doing it. You know, you don't stop. You're like being that wise virgin, that those, like one of the five wise wise virgins that, um, hallelujah, can be either male or female. We think of it as only a girl, but a boy can be a virgin too. So <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in because usually when Father is really trying to get you to think spiritual, he wants you to know that in him is no male nor female. So he uses words that we can grab a hold of and then use those same words. Okay, so when we got started, um, I had asked a group of people to get together I said I need your voice tomorrow at 12 o'clock and and all we're going to say is uh, Gregory no Jesus Gregory and we're only and we're going to speak in tongues we're going to use our gift that father gave us to to um, communicate with him so that we can talk to him from our heart we're not going to talk to him with words in English we're going to talk to him from our heart in the spirit to God who is the spirit and so they got that part so they come and in the meantime as they're coming father said write this on paper so I, and I really didn't know why <laughs> I mean you know how it was going to work but like I said you know when father tells you to do something and you pray and you speak in tongues you get all kinds of stuff because it's not your head that's being used really it's your mouth and Jesus is speaking through you hallelujah so as we went forward or as we go forward this is basically what happens so I began to write this down so when the people came I had I had it all set up like over there if people come it's already set up, and then it's going to be different than what I'm doing right now. They might get to know this, but I've already spoken about this, so they would have to get to know this at the end <laughs> or the next lesson. And the next lesson begins at 6 o'clock to 7, 6 o'clock to 7. So, And we're praying three times a day or having these rapture drills three times a day to learn how to pray so that or why we pray or who to pray for and all that kind of stuff. And and so it becomes a very endearing, a very loving, a very patient time that we're beginning to spend with Father. And as you spend time with Father, He reveals stuff to you. And so this is what I was telling because I had these papers out. I had like um, at different places and they were on a table. And normally when you're talking to Father, what you usually do is you prepare You begin to prepare for what you are going to do. You prepare yourself. And so I had these pages right here out. And on the pages is written, written excuse me, do you feel anything? Hi. 
Hey, come on, sit down. God bless you. Someone, oh. how many of those you drink a day? A lot, more than one. Mm -mm, probably. I got mine over there. Let me go get it since you got yours. <laughs> Hallelujah. We've been instructed to drink uh, eight glasses of water each day. So he brought his. So I'm going to show you. So and then I got mine. <laughs> okay. So what is this? Okay, so I'm going. That's what I'm explaining. I have it on Periscope. So I'm going to turn this off for a while and then I'll come back. God bless you and thank you so much for joining me today. Okay. All right. The next time I'll be here is at seven o'clock. All right, bye for now. Hold on, I gotta figure it.